Ja. Oh. Stop moving them like that. What's up, everyone? My name is Dr. Mo, and I'm a dentist. Let's watch an actual procedure of the removal of the cantilus and dental cartilage. The focus of, of this video will be about how do we actually get to a stage like this? This is a relatively late stage. You don't want the dental cartilage and dental calculus uh, to get that extended or that uh, advanced. What the operator here is using is very typical for a dental cleaning procedure, and that is an ultrasonic scaler with uh, water coolers. So they're starting with a posture, which meaning the teeth in the back, uh, and this is the view uh, of the lower. So let's start with the beginning of uh, this process. Okay? Uh, this would start the beginning as something called as dental plaque or plaque on the teeth. That uh, dental plaque over time mineralizes min further and becomes harder uh, to become this uh, dental calculus. At first, it forms as, as small deposits of uh, dental tartar, and these small deposits accumulate over time through more black or dental uh, tartar forming uh, to become this big. Now, I'll also further expand into the consequences of leaving such things uh, being uh, left uh, untreated. And if you notice something uh, that it <laughs> look at how also with when the assistant's using the suction, uh, the assistant is still <laughs> moving the teeth a little bit. You see that? Oh, oh look at that. Like the teeth are, are so mobile and also stay watch till the end because I'll also further explain why do the teeth get mobile. Uh, and by the way, I'll put the, the playlist of the videos in the description box for similar videos like this if you want to check it out uh, later. Like also, there's a finger support, but not for the instrument that they're using, but uh, essentially to keep the tooth <laughs> in its place and to not be dingling and moving around while the operator is cleaning all of that uh, dental uh, daughter and uh, dental uh, uh, calculus. And uh, as you can see, a lot of that dental daughter and dental, dental calculus is, is concentrated uh, in this uh, region towards the tongue and we call that the uh, lingual liberation is very common uh, to have it form near the gum line, but as you can see, it can also extend to cover an extensive portion uh, of the teeth. Uh, of the teeth, these are lower uh, front teeth, and also the dental calculus uh, forms in other regions uh, of the mouth. So let's continue with the formation of the dental cartilage and the dental calculus. As I said, it forms these small uh, deposits, and over time, these small deposits uh, accumulate. In become bigger and bigger if they are left uh, untreated. And uh, keep in mind that uh, while it is true to a certain extent that uh, dental uh, plaque can potentially be uh, cleaned with uh, means such as proper forms of uh, brushing, uh, also with the help of uh, water floss, uh, I think I'll leave uh, some useful links in the description that you can check out if you wish. Uh, also, yeah, proper forms of brushing, uh, water floss, also traditional uh, string floss can help with the removal of uh, dental, dental plaque. Okay? The problem is once it turns into a dental partner, that's going to uh, need a professional uh, uh, cleaning done by a healthcare professional like a dentist or a periodontist, periodontist, dentist, uh, dentist who goes into further specialization to deal with periodontal uh, problems and periodontal diseases, i.e. gum disease, periodontal disease, uh, certain issues extending beyond the gums into the underlying bone. Why do I mention the underlying bone? I'll go into this, but look at how part of the root is also root of the tooth is also exposed. Unfortunately, they're barely holding the tooth to get by. So it's very important for the operator to uh, explain always to the patient that some of the teeth are already uh, uh, mobile and they're held together uh, barely by that uh, uh, you know, 
countless uh, so that they to avoid any future misunderstanding or really unfortunate conversation because so that they wouldn't think that the teeth became more mobile because of the cleaning. The teeth became more mobile due to the uh, periodontal and periodontal disease that's occurring. That periodontal disease uh, that is affecting the underlying supporting bone. That supporting bone is very important because it helps to support the tooth in place and limits its uh, uh, mobility. Look at how also these huge strong spots, uh, dental, dental tartar are being broken into small pieces so that it become easier to be removed. And as typical, we have the uh, water coming uh, from that uh, scaler to also help with all the holes, how much mobile uh, these teeth uh, are. They're so interesting, actually. <laughs> It's pretty neat so far. I think the operator is doing a great job at removing all these dental covers because it's, um, I would argue that this person really needed rather that uh, they don't need that ice cream. So you're wondering what is this with hibiscus tea? I like hibiscus tea. The operator proceeds. Uh, to move to the uh, other key, rather than leave, removing all these yeah, chunks of nail cover. Then, the attack was to get this patient between the crown of the tooth and the root uh, of the tooth uh, that a uh, change of a uh, shade uh, between them. So, the crown of the tooth uh, has an external layer, and that's typically the enamel. It, it is the enamel, okay? And for the root, uh, the outer layer is the cement. And what is the risks of uh, the root being exposed that much? And by the way, this is gum recession. So gum recession here, gum recession on, on all of these things. Uh, the, some of the risks are that the uh, surface of the, the root uh, and the root itself is more sensitive relative to the crown. Of the uh, so it is uh, common to see uh, patients like this also having sensitivity uh, too cold compared to the uh, other uh, people who have the, the entire research uh, of the uh, root cover. There are other reasons for uh, identical teeth sensitivity and the total sensitivity, but I'm just giving you one potential reason. Um, very important to go all over the vast majority of the two services that we can uh, access uh, because we need to clean all the residue uh, remaining in the platform that was the present dental pattern. Uh, also acts as this the rough surface that makes it easier for even further more identical uh, to uh, develop. And as you can see, the operators did a great job at some time going back to certain ways to make sure uh, that they're removing the remaining uh, dental uh, appended tackles. Also, to be clear, this, this method uh, plays also a that is the bulk of uh, this method uh, is uh, playing a very important role uh, in in removing huge chunks of down water and uh, down calculus. Doing so far so good. Everything is going great so far. The operator is moving to the uh, back deep with the dental uh, meaning is and if you notice also a lot of that dental pattern was concentrated in the lingual part in the inside searches of these uh and before teeth because we have salivary ducts that uh, show Slide there. Slide has a lot of benefits and a lot of functions, but uh, also one of the things that that saliva carry is uh, minerals. These minerals are useful, but it is to be clear, but they also contribute to the uh, mineral mineralization of that dental plaque and uh, turning into the uh, dental part. Again, look at oh, look at that tooth also. Uh, moving to a certain degree. Unfortunately, these leaves are uh, mobile to some extent uh, because, uh, the, as I said, uh, there's a period of disease uh, in the gum session. Also, the bone itself that is supporting these leaves is being uh, affected uh, in a negative way. The operator 
here is doing a good job at removing these remaining portions of uh, that uh, dental and dental cartilage. And also look at how some of these dental cartilage deposits uh, are heavily stained, heavily darkly, uh, dark color, uh, a stain uh, in affecting negatively uh, the aesthetics uh, of uh, these things. Also, so, you know, it's something you may be surprised at um, how, to a certain degree, the surfaces of uh, these teeth, the tooth itself, uh, may look normal with uh, not really much cavitation uh, or dental caries, you have problems on it, yes, but uh, the bigger issue here is periodontal disease. Um, if the tooth loses completely its periodontal support, the support from the surrounding bone, uh, then the, the, that tooth is basically practically of uh, really barely any use, or I would argue of no use, because it's very easy to lose that uh, tooth, and it, it will just be wiggling around on any the tiniest contact. Look at how much uh, of that huge gel fiber and gel compass is uh, accumulated on the teeth and the operators doing his best uh, in removing uh, the dental plaque. That's very good. And as I said, uh, it, it can be fairly common in such uh, cases for someone to be supporting these uh, mobile teeth just for the sake of uh, removing the tartar uh, deposit. It's uh, very interesting so far. The uh, annoying thing about the tartar is that uh, it, it forms on the multiple surfaces of, of, of the, the tooth. So not only the lingual or the labial or, or buccal or facial surface, it also forms on the mesial and distal surface. Again, not to confuse you with the uh, dental terminology, these, these are just uh, uh, technical uh, terms for the surfaces of the tooth itself. Okay, so uh, also the water cooling is very important because these instruments uh, vibrate to a certain uh, degree and uh, um, with the contact of the tooth, uh, they may uh, generate heat in the tooth. So uh, the water is actually a kind of cooling system uh, is really helpful as they just uh, tries or the operator here tries to remove all of that uh, dental uh, water from the tooth. And you look at how sometimes it's also really small uh, uh, dental uh, 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 pieces in, in stains that need uh, to be uh, removed so that we get to the final uh, result. And um, some uh, of these uh, dental water uh, pieces, uh, they're not really uh, that easy to be removed. Uh, they need they require a lot of work. Uh, and also, we need to avoid uh, putting a lot of pressure, so there's like kind of a balance between our interest in removing the dental plaque and dental tartar and also preserving uh, the uh, teeth and remaining uh, bone health issues. The operator here is starting with the, uh, going on with the upper teeth as going to the back side. Unfortunately, as you can see, uh, there's also uh, molars in there, some gum recessions. And some of that uh, dental uh, campus and then water is also sticking in underneath uh, the gums, which can make the case a bit more uh, challenging for the operator because we can't really see well uh, that much underneath uh, the uh, gum line. Now, there are tools that we may use to check uh, the region, certain periodontal uh, probes, and certain particular uh, instruments in periodontology that we may use to check uh, the surface and the roughness. Uh, Underneath that uh, gum line, we have specialized tools uh, to check those regions. Uh, they're starting with the opposing uh, side and uh, the other side. Uh, and this looks a bit better than uh, the one that they started with in the upper. Uh, let's see if there's a before and after one. Yeah, okay, so this is the before uh, and look at the after. Really great work. Unfortunately, look at the gum recession and extent of gum recession there. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, like, like.